Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. We're Roman fan. I think where we're going to go today, Lucy. Yeah, we're going to head to where we finished off last week. I mean, we're having such a good day last week. It'd be a shame not to see what else is left out there. I what? know. I'm hoping for what are you some hoping for? a few more Romans and maybe some skates. Some skates. It is <laughs> skate field, and we haven't found one since we found one last year. I so know. Let's go for it's it. teasing us. There's got to be one there. There's got to be one. Let's get out of there. We'll see you out in the field. So this is swiftly becoming the Roman Fan Wind Channel, so you're having another voiceover this week. <laughs> the wind was even worse than last week. Yeah. I don't even know what they're playing at. It was causing us major hearing our issues. Our audio was just like, trust us, you don't want to hear our audio. So this is just us getting ready. Even at the side of the car, it was windy. Yeah, we kind of knew as soon as we got there it was going to be bad. Yeah, well, I felt like I, I, I came home from this and like I was just deaf. Deaf from the <laughs> been blasted by the wind all day. Decided to head back up to the field from last week. Yeah, back up to the field from last week. And we're just going to head straight there this week. There's no swinging our way up there. We're just going straight to the no. target zone. Which is... Unusual, unusual for, us. for us because we love that little pasture field. I do love that little pasture field. But I feel like it's just because we were so excited about this field. And I think we've got to take advantage of it before it gets seeded because the farmer's turned it over now. So we haven't got long left of it. So we've got a little 11 to start off with, I think. Yeah, so what have we got? A little 11. It was a nice solid 11, I believe. I can't actually remember what this first farm was. No. Oh. Oh. There was nothing. It was nothing. <laughs> <laughs> cut that. So we're back to a 15, 16. Oh, I think I know what this one is. This was like, we kicked off like a really strong start, I think. Yeah, first, well, first proper was like First proper find. target. It was only like the second or third hole. And we actually had like a little artifact came up. You can just see it on the edge just there. That little bit of green. A little bit of green. I was getting excited when I see a little bit of green. Better than seeing red. You know it's something good when the glove comes off. <laughs> you do. And I think it's actually some kind of like cute little mount. Yeah, that's really sweet. And it's quite decorative as well. Yeah, it's got some lovely like radial decoration around it. I definitely think it's some kind of like medieval stud or medieval mount, maybe from like belt, a belt fitting, strap fitting sort, yeah. of, sort of vibes. There is a, a mount book, isn't there, fitting? I don't like know, a, maybe we should buy it. Maybe that I should be a Roman Fan investment to the Roman Fan Because library. we find quite a few of them and I really... You love them. And Yeah, I love them. I enjoy... It's your fashion design background, isn't it? You just love them. <laughs> just enjoy researching that. And that's the first thing in the artifact tin. Woohoo! Little cheeky little mount in there. So I think, I felt like we were off to like a good start. And then we were heading over, we had a specific area in the field that we wanted to hit quite hard. Yeah, that the, the far corner, so we sort of just made our way. Just made our way over to that far corner, because that's where we've had the most, like, stuff to come up, isn't it? Mm. That's where we were finding the tokens and the hammers last week, so we're hoping a few more will be waiting for us. And this was a little... Is that a 1920? Low 20s. Low 20s. So I thought, oh, we're going to get a penny? So I wouldn't normally expect a penny. In Maybe a bit more closer to the footpath. Oh, Oh, is that, that a Roman? Is that? It's a little Roman look. Oh, no. No, I'm lying. Oh, no, it is. It's oh, it's a, that It's bronze. a bit of bronze. We found quite a bit of bronze today. Yeah, there's a lot of, like, uh, probably scrap bronze. There was something in the past. and yeah. A little bit of folded copper alloy bronze there. Another 20, low 20s. This one seems more consistent than the last one, though. Yeah. And look, it's just that it's actually on chilling on the surface. Look, surface fine. I First can't surface fine of the day. And I mean, a Roman. And I thought it was probably maybe going to be a penny again, or more of that bronze scrap because it wasn't too far away. It's not often that we have Romans come up as high as low twenties, is it? We no. have had it a few times, nice big ones like this one, but it's not common. Yeah, it's not common. They're mostly 13s, 14, 15, 16s. Yeah. That's normally their range. Or nines. Or nines. For those tiny. Mm. But then tiny the Romans ones. we've been finding in this field have been like quite big. Like, mm. we're hefty chaps. That's a nice one, that so one. They're probably a bit earlier than potentially. Potentially, yeah, because they do get smaller towards the end of the Roman Empire when inflation starts to take a toll on there. So first coin in the coins Coinage. pod. Yeah, and it's the first time the coin pod comes out. Loving our new coin pod, aren't we? Mm. It's quite n nice being able to separate the... I do, Yeah, I did used to worry about the artefacts, because the artefacts are bigger. Sometimes the phone wouldn't sit properly with yeah. the coins. And they they slid around want a bit. You don't bashing into the coins. So this one was a, a really strong 14. What have we got here? Oh, this one was the muddy hole. Oh, oh. sloppy. Some of this field was really boggy. I found myself sinking. I was like quicksand. It was like quicksand. There, what have we got there? I think it's just, is it just a little bit of lead? It was a little lump. Oh, I think it was that little lump. Do you remember that little lump? Yeah. Yeah, it was that little lump. Sometimes you do get little lumps that just come up quite solidly. But then we've always learned to check holes twice, isn't it? Because not always the case. That's quite a consistent 18, Yeah, 19, pretty consistent that. 18. 
I quite like watching from the metal detector perspective. That's <laughs> something I don't get to see often. But yeah, lots of, lots, lots of parts of this field were like boggy as hell. I, mm. I, kept, I kept sinking, didn't I? Yeah, you just hear me I like yelp behind you. disappeared at one point. <laughs> <laughs> and what have we got here? Look, I think this one was quite close to the surface as well. Oh. Look there. It's another little Roman. Another Roman. The second Roman of the day. The disc in the poking out. We've got quite good at spotting those discs now, haven't mm. we? When we started, we found it really hard to find things. And this one's a nice one. Can you see that little person on there? Yeah. Little standing figure? There's definitely some really nice details on here. I can even see a little bit of the text going around the edge. If you can just you could just spot it. It's a nice thick coin as well, isn't it? Yeah, really chunky this one. Maybe that's why they ring up so high at 1819s. Yeah, because so, they're quite thick. Today, to these are all a lot higher than. But well, you can really see the figure well on the light there. I think that's so funny though, like to like this trip. It was all these high Romans that we got. Yeah, whereas last, last time, trip it was fifteen, sixteen, twelve, thirteens. Yeah, those were all the Romans we were finding last time. But then it could have something to do with the water. Like it was yeah. very wet when we went today. A lot wetter than last week. The conditions I feel really make a difference. Oh, an 8-9. We like an 8-9 because when we found our skeet in this field, it was a solid 8-9, wasn't it? I know. So I, I always sort of have my fingers crossed. Always have your fingers <laughs> crossed. You always like it. Skeet numbers. And it looks like we've got another Roman. Yeah, another little Roman. Yeah, because you were on like a roll here. Yeah, I think I hit three, we hit three in, a three row. in a row. It was like bam, bam, bang. This one was a little bit more toasty. It was quite harder. Yeah. I mean, we'll see what he's like under the See what he's like on the clean in life. life. Hopes aren't too high for details on that one. At the end of the day, a Roman's Roman. That's been in the ground for nearly 2,000 years. Exactly. It's a privilege to be able to find it. I mean, I'm pretty happy with three in the bag. Yeah, and it's a lot more that we now know about this area because we don't normally find a lot of Romans in this field. No. So every Roman is like an added bit of data for us. It's definitely like helping to paint the picture more about definitely. what was going on here. And helping to give us areas to target and areas that we need oh, to know we need to hit hard. Definitely. We had a nice, was that another little number? A little, little 10, 11. A little bit jumpy, that one. A little one. bit jumpy. A little bit of lead. A bit of lead. So they, they always sound pretty good, the lead. They do, and there's a lot of lead in this field, but it's not bad to find. Lead means life. I'd rather find lead than ammunition or exactly. nails. What, another 10? Another little 10. It's right on the side of this hole, look. I like it when they're in the side. They make for such good videos, don't they? Oh, Oh, what's that look? I think I can see something. <laughs> Your claw coming in to remove things. That will be edited out, I think. <laughs> <laughs> or oh, have we got another little... Looks like another token. Yes, yeah, a little... That was the little bent lead token that we found. Don't mm. normally find lead tokens bent. No, interesting that it was bent, actually. And I think you can see on the inside, annoyingly, the inside face is the face that's decorated. Mm. But you can just see it in the right light. You can see it's, it's quite a nice, like a geometric star kind of pattern inside. Like their classic flower. Yeah, I think once it's cleaned out in there, we'll be able to see it a lot better. Yeah, I think it'll look really good. And this is what now we're like our fifth or sixth lead token from this field. Yeah, which is quite a high concentration. It's very interesting what they're doing here. Is it some kind of like trading? Is there some kind of market going on here? I think we might have to have chats with Flo. Definitely going to have chats with Flo. And then it was lunch. Oh, lunch break. That was quite a... High product, a very, a very productive, productive little morning. session. Three Romans before lunch. That's a, that's a good day to me. We were buzzing, weren't we, from the Romans? You seem to be yeah. struggling with my firmer spoon. <laughs> <laughs> what did you have today? So I had a chicken curry rice bomb, which was very good. That sounds so good. It was actually really good. I would recommend. It was like a really nice one, like a what are they called, like a bento bowl or something. Mm. You taking the vibes there? What did you have today? <laughs> I had mushroom risotto. I was actually really impressed with how hot. The firmest kept rice. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like mine was like a good, like it was warm. Probably mm. not like burn your tongue, but like yeah, but you don't want it to burn your tongue. You it was ready to eat. Yeah, yeah, which was good. And then we turned. And then a quick session before the live. Didn't we? Quick session before the live. We hopped over to another part of the field just because it was really good for us last year. We wanted to check it out. Didn't yeah, we? just in we'll case see if there's we anything over there. Aren't able to go in it again. Yeah, because we don't know when this field's getting drilled, so we just wanted to check out a few spots. And then I think this is just a little bit of lead that yeah. came up first. There's a lot of lead in particular on this patch. I that think. side, I remember from, I think, yeah, last time, having lots of lead. Yeah, because we... When we did a live there as well. Yeah, we gridded it hard last time and just pulled up so much lead. But then one of those bits of lead was a play cross. So yeah. you have to dig the lead, you can't not dig it. I think this one's a little, just a tiny little, tiny number. little one. What have we got in? Oh, and this was a little bit of folded, another little bit of folded copper, a bit of folded bronze. 
Yeah. I can't quite tell if it's anything but like at these, the moment. These could have maybe been some kind of strap and strap fitting yeah. sort of thing. But bit, they're just... A bit mangled. A bit mangled now. It's quite hard to see what they were. And then you had... Didn't you spot this before you swung over Yeah, it? I did. I... It caught my eye because it was obviously so bright. And you were looking shape for shells, it. weren't you? I was, yeah, yeah, I thought maybe a shell. And then as I bent to look at it, my detector caught it. And, it went, and I was like, oh, it's metal. What? Yeah, and this was another lead token, just a, a completely black one this time, which is interesting. And I think this one rang as a seven. Yeah. So I think it's now time for us to start our little TikTok live section of the day. Yeah, we'll see you guys on the live. Catch you on the live. Hi, everybody. This is little 10, is it? Little 9, 10. So it could be promising. So first signal on the live. Is it a... I think that's it. What is that? A little screw. First signal on the live, I'm trying to screw. Cheeky 10. <laughs> I'll double check that was there. I think it was. Yeah, doing pretty well at the minute. We... Three Romans, couple of tokens, not too bad. One of the code tokens has some nice detail on it as well, but it's bent in half. <laughs> Plow's not done it kindly. Have we found some prime drinks anywhere detecting? No, not yet. I don't think they're quite old enough to be tossed in the fields just yet. <laughs> Team 14. Just there. Oh, that sounds nice. Denarius or a hammer, do you? Oh, I want a denarius. Yeah. Beggars can't be choosers though, unfortunately. <laughs> we get what we're given. <laughs> we'll get the Roman out, maybe if we find something in this hole. We can hear this one. Are uh, we using the Equinox 800? Is it in that? Oh, is that trash? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was like a big silver something, or is it? Or is it trash? I think it's trash. I think it's a bit of alley. No! God, no. I saw a glint of silver and I got excited. <laughs> trash silver. Aluminium. Aluminium. Such a good signal, that, that one. That was a great signal, and I wonder if it sounded so good. Oh, that aluminium was such a trickster. Like, it looks so silver. <laughs> They're so tricky. Oh, I was thinking it's like a big silver brooch or something. Oh, stop it. <laughs> in your dreams of a silver boat. Oh, I'm going in the boggy bit again. I'm sinking. We have to be careful because some of the fields is a bit boggy and you sink quite deep down. Another 14, 15, better not be more alley. Just there. So another 14, 15. I hope it's not more of that aluminium because it's not too far away. Yeah, I almost just got stuck in the mud as well. It was like quicksand in one spot. Any any luck, Ellie? I'm wondering if I need to go over it again. Yeah, the worms have stolen that one. <laughs> They'll all be in there. It's just this one field's got quite a lot of interference in it, so pinpointing is a bit wild sometimes. There we go. Is it that little lump? Yeah, yeah, I can see something. What in that? No, the other one, I think. Yeah, I think it's that one. The lead? That is the lump. It is lump? A little, just a little, yeah, a little lump. Just we have lump. <laughs> we have a lump. <laughs> lump of metal. That's why it was a bit tricky. Yeah, a bit flaky. A six. Six, seven. Just there, how deep is it? Three. Okay. It's a little target, this one. No, <laughs> I think I'm going to get them done at the weekend. <laughs> Don't look at them. I've got, so I've got gloves on. <laughs> oh, what have we got here, guys? Maybe an artifact? Can you see it? In that little yeah. Just a little bit of bronze. A bit of bronze, lump of bronze. Yeah, a little piece of bronze, I think. Maybe from a bronze pot or something, something like that. Yeah. 
going in there. That's our little artifacts so far. We have a little mount. We've got this really cool little mount thing. Yeah, we found that. That was the first thing we found this morning. Just some bronzy lamps bent thing. And then the coins pod's quite full, which is awesome. Some cheeky little artifacts coming up. 15. Get your Roman out. <laughs> Everyone's demanding the Roman. Oh, yeah, I think it's uh, quite shallow. What have we got? Is it lap of lead? Oh, I'm not gonna swear. <laughs> I'm not gonna swear. It's beautiful. Oh my yeah. god, look at that. Oh, guys, this is so beautiful. Oh my god. How nice is that? How nice is that for a Viking gaming piece or Saxon? Viking, I think, yeah. Stunning. We've never oh, wow. Before. Yeah, that looks so Viking, that one. Oh, Absolutely that. Stunning. Oh, my God. Oh, I can't believe that. I thought it was just going to be a piece of crap. I thought it was going to be like a... Oh, I'm so Oh, sure. that is the most amazing thing I've ever seen. It's really nice. It's beautiful. Anything else in there? Oh my so beautiful. Do you want to hold them and then we'll get them? Guys, how beautiful is that? That is probably our best ever gaming piece. It is. That is that is really special. Oh man, that is so cool. The decoration on that. That's special. He's stunning. He's absolutely stunning. Oh god, the foam. I have to go get that. Yeah, so like a gaming piece, like a board for like a board game. It would have been similar to like drafts. That's yeah, probably the most closest thing we There's have. There's a few right different now. games I used to play. Nine Men's Morris is one of them. And then Heffel uh, the Taffle. Heffel Taffle something. Hefney <laughs> Taffle something. Yeah, like there definitely could be more. That was a 15. Yeah, 15. Very consistent. Yeah. Lead always sounds really good. I love lead signals, they're the best. Lead signals are our favourite. Oh, I'm blown away by him. Lucy, that might be in our top finds of 2023. Yeah. <laughs> Already making that list. Already making the list. If you're liking our digging adventures, please remember to hit that subscribe button and follow our channel. I think it's over here. It's a, it's a... How deep is it? Yeah, That's so, beautiful. so cool. Oh, it's a bit cold today, guys. The wind's really got like a chill to it. Don't I didn't have to wear my gloves last week, and now. It... Is it a lump? A nail. 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 Little nail there. Look. Yeah. I'll double check it though. A bit of green glaze over oh. here. Ellie's just picked up some green glaze. That's I've got lovely. Some green glaze. That's nice. <laughs> Lovely. You're detecting pottery. <laughs> yeah, detecting pottery. The wind keeps nearly blowing my hat off. No, what you found? Oh yeah, that's a good bit of pottery. Look at that. Always had to keep an eye out for pottery whilst you're out digging. That's a lovely bit that is. It's a beautiful room piece. On it. Yeah, that's stunning. So it's Roman. Greyware? Greyware, yeah, looks like it. There's no green glaze on it. No. Beautiful that is. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Great bit of pottery that. You got that one safe in your bag, Lucy? <laughs> no, I that's the best oh yeah, that's a good for sure. Is it? Yeah, a little bit of lead. 
little target. I know so awesome drama, loving it so far. Yeah. Just there. Another bit of lead there, look. Another bit of lead. A little bit of lead there. That's okay. It's a good sign. Woohoo! The real fun about it is that you just never know what's going to come up next. Oh? Is this going to be the Saxon Gold? Somewhat weird for any sturdy. Interesting. That it? seems wild. Oh, Ellie's trying to not lose her hat. think it's gonna be. I don't know, this is a bit of a crazy signal so we'll see. Is it 20s, 30s? 20s, 30s, I don't know. Oh, is that another is that, is that just lead to the anything interesting? Just a bit of lead. Bit of lead. Very high reading on this one. Very high reading. Anything on it? Maybe. There could be something on it. Maybe be some kind of seal, maybe, like a bag seal. So a little bag seal Might be. potentially. It's an unusual shape, that's Unusual for sure. shape. I'll put it on and there's a looks like that bit would have gone round the bag. I think it might just have been. Yeah, potentially. We'll put that in the uh the tin. Yeah, the rain is coming. We're shortly going to get battered by the rain, that's for sure. <laughs> Prepare yourself, Lucy, it's coming down. Get that hood up, protect those headphones. Jesus! She's coming! <laughs> oh, what? Got a 10. A 10? That's something there. Is that a worm? Oh no! Oh wait. Oh wait. What is it? Wait a second. I thought this was a. Um, is no, it? You're right. it is, is it a? It's a. It's a. It's shot. It's shot. Oh. Oh. Sneaky. I bet that sounded great. That it minute. did. Yeah, just a cartridge end. Unfortunately. So I do a little show and tell whilst Lucy finds the next target. Unless she's got the next target. Yeah, fantastic day, Kerry. That's my hat gone. <laughs> Lost the air! Quick reflexes from there. That was some quick reflexes. But yeah, check the Discord out, guys. You can see all of the finds that we find in there. We'll put them all up in fresh finds. Bit of a jumpy one. What numbers was it? Right. Mix of twenties. Could be like a nail or something. Down there. Whether it be good or bad, we don't know. No. <laughs> Soon to find out. Nail? Yeah, nail. You right? Yeah, got my ID right. Now the rain's coming. <laughs> there she is. Oh. Aaron has just checked the live weather radio. We've got a big band of rain coming in about 30 minutes. <laughs> I'm sure that'll be fun. <laughs> it's getting worse. Oh, that's horrible. This might be the rain Aaron was talking about. Wow. She's gone. Where's it going? <laughs> I thought I was getting hit by hail. <laughs> you thought it was hail? Hat shaped hail. Or was it just like hit me? Runaway hat. Yeah, the weather is really not great today. <laughs> Oh, yes, that's what I like to hear. 
Just there? How deep was it? Uh, three. Okay. What, Ellen? What do you think it's going to be? I don't know. Probably be more lead. Oh, we're on target. What are you thinking, Ellie? Oh, I don't know. It's in a ball. Promising. It's a bit of green in there, look. Ready? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, what is that? Is it a buckle? I just think it's a buckle. Oh, I think we've got a buckle, oh, guys. Yeah. It's a real Ooh, nice one. Oh, lovely. That's got some age to it, that buckle. Yeah. For sure. Oh, it's oh, a beauty. Stunning. Look at that. It's a real beauty. Oh yeah, that's gorgeous. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, thanks guys. We love finding buckles. Yeah, definitely. One of my favourites. Yeah, still got the pin on. A little bit broken on the other end, but... That's a stunner. It's beautiful. It's, stunner. it's probably medieval, I'd say. Yeah, probably medieval, this one. We'll have to, like, reference it. Cross-reference it. Um, I'm not sure what, what do you think it could have been used for, Ellie? It's quite small. I think it's a strap buckle, I'd say. Maybe a strap buckle. I think it's a strap buckle. They had very thin straps back in yeah. the medieval times. Um, Aaron's saying 1250 to 1400, likely. Yeah. Woohoo! We haven't had a buckle. Is that our first, first buckle, for first me, buckle yeah. of 2023? Yeah. We do the cleaning lives usually on a Tuesday night. So next Tuesday. You can see everything all cleaned up. Yeah, we love doing the cleaning lives. Good one. Get up close and personal with the finds. We're we having the calm after the storm now. If you're feeling inspired and want to get out digging, then we've got a ten percent discount code off at LP Metal Detecting. So treat yourself to some new gear. What do we reckon guys? 27, 28. Don't, they don't come up that often in here. Not in here, that's for sure. Blowing a hoolie. <laughs> what have we got? It, oh, what have we got Ellie? Ooh. Looks like, have we got another buckle? Yeah, look. You got it? Oh guys, look at that one. Oh, That's a really nice one. Stunning. Oh, <gasps> was it decorated? Yeah. Well, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. That looks so pretty. Stunning. Two buckles. Yeah, if you want to see it cleaned up, catch our cleaning live next, next Tuesday. Decided to fill up in the artifact tin. Wow. Definitely looks early, that's for sure. Single loop 1250 to 1650. Thank you, Aaron. Knew it was early medieval. Beautiful one. Yes, that sounds better. Oh, thank you, Peter. Yeah, we, we like to keep things keep real. real. Keep it real. We only dig trash. <laughs> <laughs> this was like a, a 15, quite consistent. So I'm hoping it's something it's okay. <laughs> to finish the live would be nice. You can hear it. What have we got? What do you reckon we're going to get, guys? 15, 16. Yeah. Lead. Lead? Lead. We started the live on a high with lead and we've ended on a. That's that's your dash for today, guys. Your dash. <laughs> Had some awesome finds, some, some great artifacts. You guys have been treated on the live today. Oh. Shall we just show off the artifacts yeah. one more time? The cleaning live should be brilliant. Wow. Viking gaming piece, so epic, can't believe him. Yeah, so cool. 
all of his beautiful decoration, some awesome buckles, some lumps of, lumps of bronze. And we've got some stuff in the coins pod as well. Yeah, and the coins pod's looking healthy too. Thanks so much, guys. I mean, what a life that just was. Uh, like, you kind of like always hope that you're going to find something on the live. And I feel like we found our best finds on the live. Like, yeah, it does tin. actually. It's getting, I feel like the live's getting more lucky. The live is getting more lucky. Lives never used to be lucky for us, but look at that tin. The artifact tin is full. She's packed. So many buckles. So many buckles. Look and how happy I am. <laughs> our prize lead find. Yeah, our lovely gaming piece. Which. I mean, I've never seen one before. I mean, we've found a few gaming pieces before, and I've done a lot of research into them. Yeah. But I've never actually seen one that's, like, this beautifully decorated. I've never seen a decorated one either, which mm. makes me think it's potentially quite special. I think so as well. If anybody's seen one before or knows anything about it, feel free to drop us a comment, because we'd love to hear about hear your, hear your thoughts. Yeah. I'll definitely be emailing this one to our flow later. I mean, it is so beautiful, and that little decoration on it is just such a fine... Like, it's like a braid, almost. Yeah, it is. It's beautiful. Over each side and do you know do you know how much our flow is gonna love that she gets so excited when we find gaming pieces yeah they're like a personal interest for her so she's oh, gonna I love it i think they're brilliant they're just such little characters and you think someone was playing some board game with it I like know. enjoying themselves having I think a game definitely they're one of my favorite lead artifacts to find i think we've possibly found four we found four amazing ones so we did a little photo session. Yeah, we had a little photo session before heading out to... And once again, we wanted to check out a different part of this field because it's a huge field. So we're heading out to a different zone now. And, like, it doesn't get turned over, like, that often. No, it so doesn't. So we just thought we'd take a chance. It was about two years ago now that we were in this field, so we wanted to check out a lot. And I think this was... I believe... Oh. Do some search. Do you remember? Yeah. Yeah, you can. Another... Looks like a coin ball. There's definitely a coin ball there. Does anybody else use the term coin ball? Or is it just a special just thing that we've, that we've come up with? Our own term. Our own personal term. And this is, I think, is the nicest Roman of the day. Oh, yeah. Like, you can see very nicely there's that figure, which could again be the same as last week. Mm. Do you remember we had, it was the, Vic uh, Victory walking with the reef in her hand and winged. And the bust on this one. And the bust on this one, the face is so cheeky. Hilarious. It's such a cheeky little face. And I'm happy because I wanted a Roman. I wanted a good well, Roman. We've got four. In the, we've got four in the now. pot. Yeah. And then the f look at how good that coins pod is looking. Yeah. She's full. Sometimes we have weeks where like we barely find coins. Well, because we hit kind of like the same spot last week. You kind of sometimes say, "Oh, what's going to be left?" Yeah. So to find more coins is always good. Then we had quite a high twenties. Twenty one. You were convinced it was going to be a penny again. I oh, know, I keep getting excited. You're like, penny! They're like the 20 ones let me down. Oh, actually, no, we got some Romans, so... Yeah, we had a bit of bronze here, a bit of bronze copper, maybe from a pot, cooking pot, maybe. Yeah, quite a large piece. Quite a large piece, just a... Not a bad find. I think it shows a bit of activity. Yeah. So what we're heading towards is this other rubbly patch in the field. Because we've got mm. several rubbly patches across this huge field. And this is one that we haven't checked out as much as we and we would. To be honest, this side was pretty barren. Pretty barren. Then we had a Roman Ooh, and then look at that. Massive musket ball. That Beastie was huge. musket ball. That's like one of the biggest ones we've ever found. I wonder if the You're size quite... do, what do you think the sign means? Does the I size don't know. mean anything? It's huge. It must just be for like a really good big rifle. <laughs> Shooting a big bit of game. <laughs> yeah, shooting a big bit of game. We were like, why is this side so barren? And we were stubbornly sticking it out, weren't we? Yeah, it's so weird like how you just get like, pockets of finds and then barrenness. Especially because it's like, I mean, you can see here how big the field is. It's huge. It is really big, so it is quite hard to um, pick where to go. Sometimes. It is hard to pick where to go. I think we've just had a little bit of rolled lead here. More lead to end the day on. Then it was drawing dark and we, thought, we were getting excited where we thought we had something here. Yeah, it looks like a coin ball, but I think it's like a little... This was weird, actually, yeah. Some kind of little, like, almost like oval shape ring thing. Ring thing. It could be a something, I think. I think it could be a something. I thought it was a ring pull at first, but there's, it's definitely not a ring pull. So that's a, that's in the artifact tin as a, we don't know what it is yet, but I'm sure it will be identified at some point. Yeah, I mean, I think it's a something. Definitely it looks something. like it's got age to it. Look how dark it's got. This is what happens because the field's so big. We were stuck at the wrong end of it when darkness fell. Yeah. I feel like we need to we need to get more savvy with the with the dark. Another little ten, and we've got a thimble. 
A thimble to end the day one, was it? Yeah, it was a little find. find. That was the last find. A quite a nice little thimble as well. Always happy finding thimbles. You never know what the last find's going to be. You do never know what the last find's going to be. Last week it was a hammer, this week's just a thimble. <laughs> I feel like that just goes to show, like, last week was a coin, this week was an artefact day. Yeah. Sometimes you do have coin and artefact days, don't you? Because we were lucky with triple silver last week. Yeah. This week we didn't get any silver. No, no silver, but we had that beautiful lead gaming piece, which exactly. just made it worth it. And then we headed headed out. Headed out, headed back to the car, got to head our way home. For the roundup. Yeah, got to do the roundup. And we might have gone through the Mackey's drive through but it was, a bit tra- <laughs> it was a bit traumatic today. Well, we were not impressed. We were not impressed. The woman was just... Difficult. Difficult with us. <laughs> <laughs> that we did pretty well. Yeah, so many artefacts. So many artefacts and a little artefact tin. And then we like, the, that Viking gaming piece is like... Stunning. Mega. And the buckles are beautiful. Yeah, they're really lovely. Really Two different lovely ones buckles. there. And that little stud too. Yeah, the little stud's so cool. Then we had a nice amount of coins, I think. Four Romans and two tokens. That's not bad for a day. Not bad at all. And there should be some quite nice There's details. Some nice details on I think this Roman and that one. There's some yeah. nice details Look on that. Look at that on that one. <laughs> Can you see it? <laughs> it's a little He's so cheeky, isn't he? So funny. And then so even cheeky. in that token, there's, there's something There's some nice in details there. in there as well. And then... and then we've actually not had too much trash. Look. No. That's barely any. So we've had like two bits of aluminium, your normal like bolts and nails. And then eight bits of shot. And then it's mostly just been little bits yeah, of lead. Yeah, lots of lead. Lots of lead, which I don't mind digging. Or no, digging because we ended up with... That little guy. That lead chap who That's is why you need to dig your lead. Stunning. So yeah, not not bad. a bad day at all. But yeah, so if you've enjoyed our dig, make sure you let us know, give us a like, comment, subscribe. We'd love to see more of you. Yeah, thanks guys. Thanks for watching. If you're liking our digging adventures, then why not get even more dirt? We do a weekly newsletter called Get the Dirt, you gotta sign up to it. Link's in the description. It's free. <laughs>